Uh, God, this is so terrible. It's like, it's only 63 degrees or so. <laughs> Myself, it does not seem to be affecting Mike at all. It's annoying me. Yeah, well, it's annoying me as well. Uh, I just wish it was clear. Piper thinks it's cool though. She's just chilling up there. Guy and I are both anxious. <laughs> Well, this is fun, moving about 15 miles per hour on I-75. Very slow, very snowy. Guy is not having it either. Piper doesn't care. And this is how I'm gonna deal with it, right here. Not pay attention to the roads. Here's to Florida. I've ever seen Atlanta traffic be this absent from the roads. Me neither. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, you know, they cover for Walking Dead. Oh, yeah, that was Atlanta, <laughs> too. Yeah, but there was a whole bunch of cars lined up on the interstate. There's no one in them. arrived at Hillsboro River State Park. Mike is unhooking the Jeep and he's gonna go up and dump our tanks at the dump station, dump the gray. This is our site, site number 50. It's a pretty nice site. I don't think we're gonna get satellite, which is fine. I kind of knew that going in, but it is pretty, hopefully uh, get pretty level. Mike should be back here soon. Piper is ready to go hiking. Meanwhile, Guy went back inside because he says it's lunchtime. Mike also said it's lunchtime. <laughs> we decided to take the pups for a well-deserved walk. Yeah, 1100 miles just to get here. <laughs> yeah, Piper was chomp champing at the bit to go. Yes, it is champing. It's not chomping. You look it up. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's right. So we're just going to walk around the campground and check it out a little bit. On the trail. No swimming because there could be some gators. No surprise there. Got to keep these two little snacks away from the water. And this big snack. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm a little overdressed for this Florida weather. I'm warm. I'm warm. I'm not wearing a hat because I was cold. I'm wearing a hat because my hair is gross. <laughs> <laughs> the gentleman in the Airstream gave us a wave. Hello, gentlemen. It's a very beautiful park, just like I expected. And it was cheap. You yeah. get a 50 amp and water for $24 a night. Yes, and we kind of learned from our friends Chuck and Allie over at Allie Chuck Advan Adventures that uh, a lot of the parks in Florida have water. That is not the case up in the north. No. Not at the site. It's rare. But they don't have sewer, so it's not full hookup. It's like half, three quarters, of the, two thirds. <laughs> at 
the state fairgrounds for the uh, Tampa RV Super Show year 2022. Well, technically today is not open to the public. It's industry so, day. We're, we're fancy this year. We decided to go for the industry day. We have never done industry day before. We always just roll in with everyone else, but we figured we're down here. Let's go for it. Pretty nice being here on industry day when there's hardly anyone else here. You know, people are gonna think I'm constantly on my phone because every time you start recording, I'm on my phone. you are constantly on your phone. <laughs> well, <I> just <laughs> responding to some messages. So look who we ran into. What's up, guys? We got, yeah, like trouble. Running. We got the Hanks over here. The Hanks with their leaky tanks. You know, <laughs> Hanks with the leaky tanks. <laughs> leaky like, tanks with the Hanks. They're like, That's all right, cool. shut yeah. off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> right. Cut the tape. Cut the tape. <laughs> Great meeting these guys. I'm sure everyone who watches us is well aware of these guys. If you don't know of them, we'll link them below. Well, what did we find here? Can you, get, you guys guess what we're in? Yeah. Besides the camper. Right. Travel trailer. This wheel. This thing is nice. I like this. It actually is nice. And it's kind of like a motor home ish. It's small, but I mean, for us, I mean, our wraith inside is kind of small when you think about it. We're bumper bumper, 34 feet. Yeah. <laughs> and it has a really nice sink. I like the sink. It's got a nice faucet. Lots of nice stuff. Let's check out this bathroom. Yes, the bathroom's small, but small for a reason. Oh, okay. Well, actually, I think the square footage might be very similar to our race bathroom. Mm -hmm. So this, the, the, the bedroom might be a dead giveaway that we are in a truck camper. <laughs> yep, this is indeed a truck camper. Guy would not be having this. No, we'd have to pick him up. We'd have to put him up there. But Piper would be all like, I love climbing. Oh, look, it even has a, a closet in here that slides. slides so open. this is a, uh, a Lance. 1172? 1172, I think, is model number. Yeah. Has a really nice size fridge. So, yeah. TV. Kind of have to sit sideways in the, in the booth dinette to watch the TV, but... It has a generator. It does. Overall, this is a really cool cool uh truck camper yeah, i like this a lot yeah it's got a backslide like that isn't a slide and then this obviously isn't a slide so it's very spacious for a truck camper this is uh really crazy we're just not used to this at an rv show especially this size especially the tampa show <laughs> there's literally no one in this jaco section Ooh, but there's the Super C. I see it. I see it. Moving on to the Jayco Seneca Prestige 37M. Let's see if it's really that much more prestige than just the Jayco Seneca. Oh my gosh. First off, look at those shiny floors. This is real. There's grout in here. Oh, it, you are correct. <laughs> this is like actual real tile. Ooh, I would love. Hey, can we put that in ours? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that'd be great. It's only going to add a thousand pounds. <laughs> Big window. A lot of people like that. Because it's a lot more light. This thing is crazy nice. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we have theater seating over here. A love seat couch where the TV pops up out of there. And a dinette. Lots of seating. Big sink big fridge induction cooktop this thing just feels big inside like spacious you know Ooh. okay yep whirlpool in here too this says gray tank valve must be open and sewer cap removed before using washing machine maybe it uses more water than ours yeah Ours, we can do it going down the road. What do you guys think? Upgrade? 
<laughs> we're upgrading our jobs. Yeah. <laughs> and our garage, because yeah. this bad boy is too long. That's the Tiffin Super C. I do like those black wheels. It looks good. The first for Tiffin. Yeah. They're jumping on the Super C bandwagon. We noticed that not only the wheels, they're black, but they're American Racing brand coach series. That's a decent name brand for, for <laughs> I, wheels. I need those. I know. Those would look really good on the race. Or this would just look good in our garage. <laughs> it won't fit. <laughs> really big compartments out here and side hinged and they shut super easy. Oops. <laughs> The other one shut really easy. There we go. <laughs> All right. Yep. Let's check it out. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. I guess it's for easy entry and exit from the cab. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously you have to move yeah, the cushion. Move the cushion. Back back but yeah, it makes it a lot easier to get in and out of there. TV. It's got opposing slides, which makes it huge in here. Yeah. Posing slides is nice. Oh, that's a nice countertop. It is a really nice countertop. I'm not a fan of the sink. You need the single I basin. I need the single basin. What big dish are you washing in that? You're going to be washing the whole countertop. <laughs> oh, there you dishwasher. Go. You don't need to wash a big pan on I, the sink. I take back what I said about the sink because uh, <laughs> now, okay. now it's okay. There's a dishwasher. <laughs> Fridge. Okay. Yeah. Half bath. Half bath, plenty of storage. Fantastic fan. Massive bedroom. Yeah, you could like work out in here and have extra space. Whoa. Silly fan. And you won't chop your head because it's still got enough space. I'm like 6'2 with my boots on. I got room. You're probably taller than 6'2 with your boots on. Probably six three with your boots, with them them heels. Behind the sliding door. Oh, oh, a sliding door. Yeah. Hmm. And we love our yeah. washer dryer, but the key is stackable, not a combo. Yes. It's almost like a deal breaker now for me, because I'm fancy. It's almost one piece spiral last shower. Very nice looking shower. And again, these countertops really nice and there's a ton of storage in here oh yeah i mean you're not gonna be lacking how deep that is of any storage no i can't even see the one to the left right here wait what is this that's the bathroom pantry bathroom pantry <laughs> you know tiffin's no stranger to motorhomes but this is their first super c and i i like this a lot yeah i don't think um i don't think the price tag is gonna jive with our their income <laughs> with our lifestyle <laughs> yeah very nice i like it pull out pantry. oh okay i want to check this out for sure okay i like that i like that that's the only pantry i believe so yeah okay i was thinking there was more these drawers are nice and long but soft clothes Okay, so I'm a, I'm a little, the pantry is good. It's just not big enough for to this be all of your pantry. Maybe all your canned goods could go there. I think that's the only thing I'm really disappointed in is the pantry so far. Got air ride seats. Very nice. The hood looks tiny to me. Oh my gosh, it really does. It really slopes <laughs> off real quick. Like it does, this. it slopes down quick. But that's... Uh... That's a good thing. It makes it super maneuverable. It does. What do you think about it? I like it. One difference just in the cab that I like about our international chassis, not saying it's better, but our cruise control is on the wheel. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> cruise control here is on the dash. Just just a minor, tiny, tiny difference I noticed immediately. But That was how it was in your semis that were Freightliners. Yeah, it's a Freightliner thing. Everything's on the dash. Yeah. We were walking by and noticed this and all of those cameras. <laughs> and we're like, wow, something's happening. And it looks like it is an all electric concept RV. It's the future. Charge at home, charge at campgrounds, charges dedicated charging stations. Zero emission. Got the Nexus 
Triumph Super C 33 TSC. I don't think we've ever looked at a Triumph or done a review or a look at, so. I can't really tell on the outside something I like. What's this? Oh yeah. We don't have that. No. no we have a Wraith. Okay. Wow, it's a lot of room. It is very wide because this as you can see, it has opposing slides. There's so much room for activities. I mean, I go back and forth about the opposing slides. We've had them before. I don't, I'm not a fan of it coming right outside your door. On the camp side. On, yeah, on your campsite. It takes away from your campsite. But when you're inside, it really makes a big difference in a positive way because we currently have Piper's crate right about where Mike is standing in our race. And that's all she wrote for that space. We can we can inch around it, but that's it. So this would give extra space for sure. They are doing this. So the Triumph is like three trim levels, right? So it goes Triumph, Wraith, which is where we're at, and then Ghost. And they're putting solid surface in the Triumph. Really? I wonder if that's an option or if it's just standard now. Because this is the same countertops that we got upgraded to. Yeah. Hmm. It's, it's nice. Curious and curious, sir. And this is the other uh, kitchen layout. Our sink is just squared. This is angled. Yeah, it's a, this is at an angle. But with this one, you get what we don't have, which is under sink storage. All right. Come on, Nexus. Get with it and change out this pantry. <laughs> you can pull out. This is what everyone complains about with Nexus but you know what? living space. Putting the light in there. Yeah, now they are. Good on you. They do listen, though. Yeah, that's the thing you got to give credit where credit's due. Nexus absolutely listens to customer feedback. input and mm -hmm. feedback. Okay, you have this divider door. We used to have one of these in the Airstream. Yeah, there's one here. There's one there. Okay, so it's a walk, pass-through bath. Yeah. Mike loves those. I do. I'm a big fan of walk-through or pass-through bathrooms. I'm the opposite. I'm more well, keep if, it in a space. If you get in a shower or something, you can just like close this, and then you got this entire space back here. But you're literally just in the shower and then you like, get out, get dressed. But I don't know. It's it's a personal preference thing. You guys can admit in the comments that I, I am correct. It's purely coincidental that my way is also the right way. Yeah, he says <laughs> that about everything. Tell me about it. Okay. Nice little bathroom. It's not bad. And you're getting a headboard. See, in ours... We have a window back there. And I like the headboard. Right, because as you all know, we frequently camp in freezing temperatures. Yeah, that night we camped and it was, it was literally zero degrees and we're he our heads are just surrounded with glass. Glass, the entire way. And the way. cold just pours through there. I mean, bang for your buck, the Triumph is a really really good entry into the super c world it is and then maybe since it you know it's a nexus product you should i'll highlight that word should be able to order it with liquid spring from the factory and this should have the upgraded springs in it i mean the the triumph and the wraith yes they are spring ride yes unless you upgrade it to liquid spring but uh we did a lot of research and a lot of work, and we got Nexus to use the 18.5 rear springs versus the 15.5, right. which makes it ride way better. Right, so that's their RV package now. And being brand new, this should have those springs. Should. We can find out if you look at the door jam, right? Yep. Looking inside the driver's door right here in the jam, here's the sticker with the gross axle weight rating. There's front and rear. Looking at rear. 18.5, so it does have the heavier rear springs. Another bonus of that is now the gross vehicle weight rating is 25.999, where ours is 24.5. It wasn't this nice, but if we were to ever, 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 for whatever reason, end up with a trailer again, it's this one. Yeah, this one uh, is very nice. I like that they have plenty of countertop space. I like these kind of dark ones. That yeah, looks very nice. I like it. Yeah, everything is solid. Everything. Let's see. Is this a convection, Mikey? Is it that, is. Yep, right there. 
And, and you get a little oven. oven. Aww. It's so cute. Let's check this out. What we got? Oh, three burners. I like and don't like that because if you have something like a fry pan, it could easily tip off. So you gotta be careful with that. Let's check out that tree tree. Very good. Just like I'm used to remember, <laughs> now we used to put bread up in that one. I mean, it's like cabinets, the story yes, all the way down. Yes, all the way down. Here you got, really, it looks plush. I gotta sit down. Theater seats with a uh, projector uh, for your TV. Yeah. And even this is solid surface. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is, oh, okay. Oh my God. This is way cozy. Let's check out this bathroom. This, this is, is the best part. This is the claim to fame for the Airstream 33 Classic. This right here. This giant shower. I mean, look at that. Look at this mirror. The floor length mirrors are all lacking, but not in the Airstream. <laughs> and then it's all mirrors. Behind me too. Oh my gosh. Oh, and another mirror right there. So you get the front and back view. Cedar, cedar lined. lined. Closet. So much storage. Everyone says Airstream looks storage. No, it doesn't. We, oh, we, we had too much storage. Yeah, we had a ton of storage in ours. Yeah, I really, I do miss the feel of uh, being in an Airstream. Yeah, it's unique. And you also get heated towel racks. And the floor of the shower is heated. This furniture in the classic so comfy love it Ooh, i like the big thing and it's square oh yep. my gosh usually airstream does circle yeah it looks like you have a little is that a wine rack it might be a wine rack actually it's nice <laughs> maybe someday we'll end up in an airstream again yeah you never really know with us God, this is so terrible. It's like, it's only 63 degrees or so. <laughs> I mean, look at the long sleeves. Although I did have them pulled up for quite some time today. I mean, look at me too. I, I have this, this is I think awful. We, we brought it. Yeah, I think we just need to leave. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Oh. It smells amazing. <laughs> How's dinner I made you? I don't know. I haven't had what you made me. <laughs> I'm having what I made us. Pretty good. Yeah, I've made a patty melt. Burger, cheese, grilled. It's like grilled cheese with a burger in it. Yep, and we know two others that really want some. Mm -hmm. I noticed that I made four. And there's four of us, but... Mike always eats So two. they did some quick math. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're over on the other side of the campground. It's pretty nice. We are seeing very minimal campsites open, like onesie twosies. Yeah, a couple. Yeah, I was a little surprised by that, but. People say in Florida in the winter, if you don't book, you won't get a site. But we did. Yeah, we did. We did not book out like everyone says you need to. We did not. We caught a cancellation. Well, I guess it's only natural after a long day of RV window shopping to cap it off. So this is the part where you get all judgy, <laughs> is what you're saying. I'm not judging. I have a beer over there. You could judge me just the same. Yeah, but I don't, do I? Uh, I think you do. Deep down inside. Chocolate on chocolate. Yep, I thought about taking this out of the wrapper and just putting it in there dunking it in there and then just, taking a bite just leaving it oh okay <laughs> just let it melt in there that'd be very interesting that's like putting like hershey's syrup inside of that kind of oh you know it would go great with it and you would do this i asked mike if he wanted whipped cream because we have ready whip in the fridge he said no but i bet you if it was the chocolate hershey's chocolate oh, whipped yeah. cream then i would do it but he would top it in no time no question in this house it's like the poor. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I get Mike some more of the Hershey's chocolate whipped cream for his hot chocolate with his milk chocolate bar? 
We had a really great time at the Tampa RV show. It was nice to be back after missing last year. We only were able to stay for a very short time. We knew this going in, so it was kind of like a gamble even going in the first place, but we decided to go. We had a really great time. I'm actually pretty happy that we went for industry day because you could see everything and there was almost no wait, with the exception of that Tiffin Super C. There was a wait for that, but it really wasn't too long. So now we got to head back up north because we got some things to do, some things to take care of. But after that, we will be going back out probably for some more winter camping in the snow. We are here for it. That's kind of like our favorite thing. It's almost like what we're known for now in the winter is we're out there. We're showing everyone that you can camp year round. It's not everyone's jam. I get it. You don't have to do it. I'm fine if no one does. I actually like having the campgrounds pretty much all to ourselves. But I guess for now, we're, we're going to get out of here, get back on the road. So until next time, see ya.